Thank you for choosing Water Savers Flush Minder Automatic Dual Flush Kit. The real value of this system is the daily practicality of helping you improve and maintain bathroom sanitation. It's ideal for high use bathrooms as well as with children, those with limited mobility, and the elderly. An added bonus is that this system can be set up to use with potty trained cats. The computerized sensor automatically measures whether a full or half flush is needed, helping you to conserve valuable resources. Your flush minder kit includes the sensor, screws and wall anchors, two mount collars, the motor mount with snap clip, a six inch bead chain, the flush motor with the lever arm, and the magnetic wand. Additionally, you will also need a pencil, a small Phillips head screwdriver, and super glue or epoxy. The first step in the installation process is to mount the sensor to the wall. If you are using screws to mount the sensor, you will need a drill and drill bit. The first step in the installation process is to mount the sensor on the wall behind the tank. You will need a pencil. To do this, raise the lid of the toilet and position the sensor high enough to see without obstruction, yet low enough to detect a person sitting. Use the provided mounting template sticker. Position the template on the wall so that the lower edge of the template is even with the upper edge of the seat. Next, place the sensor into the slot. Mark the position of the sensor on the wall. Remove the back plate by sliding downward. If you are doing an adhesive tape mount, then peel the backing off, reposition, press firmly to the wall to adhere. If you are doing a hard mount with screws and wall anchors, mark the location of the wall anchors and mount the back plate to the wall. Once you have finished, slide the sensor back into position without the batteries. In this second step, we will be installing the flush motor. At this point, you can drain some of the water from the tank, although this is not necessary, by turning off the water valve and holding the flush lever down. To begin, remove the lid from the tank. Place it to the side. On the inside of the tank, you will see the handle lever and chain which is attached to the flapper valve. This is the bowl fill tube and the fill valve. Remove the tubing from the bowl fill tube. Next, we're going to be taking our motor mount with snap clip and fastening it securely to the top of the bowl fill tube. As you can see, this does not fit securely. So, we will need to use one of the mount collars from the kit to place on the bowl fill tube. Once that is in place, then we'll be able to attach the snap clip to the top. Before we do that, let's look at the snap clip. The snap clip has a tab on the side. That tab fits into one of the slots or grooves in this band at the top of the flush motor. Align the tab with the groove and press the flush motor downward. Now, let's go backward for just a moment and let's place our snap clip over the top of the bowl fill tube. We want to have the tab over the flapper valve. Press it down and secure it into position with the clip. Next, 
take the flush motor and you want to line it up so that the lever arm on the flush motor does not interfere with the present lever system. Once you have that in position, line up the tab with one of the grooves on the motor and press firmly down. Make sure the lever arm is over the flapper valve. The next step is to attach our six inch bead chain to the lower part or the lower part of our bead chain to our flapper valve and it attaches where the other chain does as well. The upper part of the chain attaches to the arm or lever arm and you want to leave a little bit of slack in the chain. Finally, check the relative alignment of the lever arms and the bead chains to make sure that there is no interference. If need be, you can loosen the snap clip and make any adjustments. Once the motor is correctly positioned on the mount, then run a bead of superglue or epoxy along the joint to secure it more permanently. In this final step of calibrating the sensor and adjusting the half flush cycle, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver as well as the batteries and magnetic wand included in your kit. Remove the sensor from the mounting plate on the wall. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew the battery cover from the sensor. Install the batteries and hold the sensor against the mounting plate. Once you install the batteries, it's important to stand immediately to the side out of the range of the presence detection beam. As the sensor is calibrating, the presence detection light will flash. When calibration is complete, check to see that the silicone gasket inside the battery compartment is in position. Then screw the battery cover back into place and reinstall the sensor unit back onto its wall mount. Next, we'll be adjusting the half flush cycle. To adjust the half flush cycle time, stand to the right of the sensor outside the detection beam and hold the magnetic wand against the magnetic target until the desired water release is achieved. Let's take a closer look at how to adjust the half flush cycle. To the right of the sensor is the magnetic target. Take the magnetic wand and hold it to the target until the arm moves to the desired half flush position. To stop the lever arm at this position, remove the wand from the target. Remember, the full flush cycle will be set automatically. You can test the half flush cycle by standing in front of the sensor for about 15 seconds, then step to the side to activate the cycle and take note of how much water is released. You can make any adjustments by repeating this process. Also, see that the flush handle can still be operated normally as before. Anytime the batteries need to be replaced or the sensor needs to be recalibrated, simply repeat this final step. Congratulations, you have now completed the installation of your Flushminder automatic dual flush system. Thank you for choosing Water Saver products.